Well, hello and welcome to Petra Publications. I'm Davis, and today we're going to be reviewing this massive volume. This is the expanded edition of Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology. And I, um, I, uh, I have been studying this for about six months now, and I just finished it the other day, um, and it is just fantastic. Um, I sort of broke this into um, sections um, where uh, there were chapters. He, he, had, he had kind of broken it, interestingly, um, in a very readable fashion, I thought. And if you break it up, um, you're looking at anywhere between 5 and 25 pages a day, uh, which is a lot, but, um, you know, you just do what you can and uh, you get through it. But it, yeah, it took me about six months to get through it, and I uh, I studied this um, very intensely. I marked every page, um, carefully studied each section, and yes, I got kind of you know, bogged down at different times and thought, there's no way I'm going to finish this. Um, I'm just sort of reading this for no reason. But overall, um, this was a great, a great read. And I forgot to mention this in the actual review. I'm recording this in post, but Burkhoff at the end of each chapter, um, includes questions that, uh, relate to the, the chapter that you've just read. So if you're reading, um, if you're really paying attention, you have all these questions at the end to answer about that content, which is why I've marked so much in the book, in the in, like within the chapter, because I'm trying to uh, have the answers underlined or notes added in the margins um, for reference after I've read the chapter for the questions at the end. But anyway, back to the review. There's a lot of stuff in here that is just fantastic. Um, there was nothing that I directly disagreed with um, or didn't think was, you know, not biblical necessarily. There were a few things that I didn't personally hold to, but I could see how he came to the conclusions uh, that he came to. But overall, oh, and also because this was six months, <clears throat> six months worth um, that I, that it that I spent to to read this so many different theological changes in my theology have, have just, just took place during those six months and God's been working a lot in me and teaching me a lot and I've been studying a lot and so um, as I've gone through this things that like um, uh, Burkhoff's amillennialism or um, or his infant baptism you know those are things that that I've been dealing with personally outside of Burkhoff and so when I got to them, by the time I got to them, because when I started, I was completely opposed. And by the time I got to them, you know, my eyes had sort of been opened to those things. Not not saying that I fully hold to those or anything like that, but I, I'm, I'm seeing them in a different way. So, um, you know, probably if I read it again, it would benefit me to see those things again, just because I I have changed so much since I started the book. Um but there's literally um, also, sorry, before I get to that, um, this is the expanded edition. So there's an introduction um, to systematic theology, which is uh, dogmatics. And dogmatics, um, I didn't know anything about dogmatics. A great introduction to dogmatics. Um, great introduction to systematic theology. And... Um, very concise, I thought. It was 200 pages of the introduction and then 800 pages of the systematic theology. So, um, all in one volume, which is amazing. Very readable format, enough room to write, uh, you know, not too long of sections, I didn't think. Chapters were relatively short. Um, but what I was going to say before I got uh, thought of that um, was <clears throat> nothing is left out in this systematic. Um, it's one volume, and I know there are systematics that dwarf this this book, but nothing is left out. Um, everything is in it from, uh, from, from beginning to end. You know, um, doctrine of God, God's existence, the communicable, the incommunicable attributes of God, um, all the way to the doctrines, doctrine of the end times, eschatology, um, all the eschatological views, um, 
everything. I mean, literally everything you could possibly talk about in the Bible is in this volume. And and that's one thing too, is this is forever going to be a fantastic resource. Um, if you, if you need to study, um, a particular doctrine, or you just need a quick reference, remind yourself, what does this mean? What does that look like? Um, what did that look like in history? Burkhoff does a fantastic job of going into the history of the doctrine. Every new doctrine he introduces, he says, here's the history, here are the opposing views and how they got there. And it's just a fantastic way to look at, uh, look at everything. So you get a historical view, you get the biblical view, Old and New Testament, and then you get the uh, applications of that doctrine and, and literally everything that you could possibly want um, in a systematic, I think. But um, yeah, if I ever need to reference any of those things, this one volume, you know, it's all there. So um, that's that's great. Um and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I do absolutely recommend this. This is going on to my favorite books list. Um, this is not just probably, probably not just, maybe it is, but probably not a book that you would just sit down and read for enjoyment purposes, but it is a fantastic book. It's not too hard to comprehend. It's it's not too far out there. He writes in a very uh, cohesive uh, way. And it's very, very easy to understand what he's saying. Lots of Greek, lots of Hebrew, lots of Latin, but you can follow him. It's not, not too difficult. Um, but that is pretty much all I have for today. Um, I hope that that was a blessing to you in some shape, way, or form. If it was, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that just to know that um, these videos are helping anyone. Um, if you need prayer or anything, also please Feel free to comment that down below. I've got a website. You can reach me privately through there or my email, which is available on my About page. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. God bless.